Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to add Epic Games Launcher to your Steam library as a third-party game so that you can use Steam's drivers to play using a PS5 controller inside of Fortnite or any other game that you launch from Epic Games. So to do this, the first thing we want to do is open up our Bluetooth settings window here in our system settings so that we can connect our controller via Bluetooth. You can also do this with just plugging it in with a cable. It's your choice. This is just more convenient. So when you've got your controller in your hand and it like clicks around and you can like do stuff with it, press and hold the PlayStation icon in the center of the controller and the share button, which is the one that's got like the three little lines popping up above it like it's surprised. Press and hold those until the light on the front starts to flash rapidly. That means it's in pairing mode. When it starts to flash rapidly, you can click on this button at the top of the Bluetooth and other devices window, and you can add a Bluetooth device inside of this pop-up menu. So I believe the one that I'm looking for is the wireless controller here at the top. So I'll select that one. Then I will click done. And then I will minimize that. And from here, I want to add the Epic Game Store to my... So just make sure that before you try to add Epic to your Steam launcher, that it is completely closed Otherwise, it won't be able to launch using Steam because it's already running. So we're going to go open up our Steam, go to your library, and then at the top of the screen, go to Games. There's this little pull-down menu next to Help that says Games, and I'm going to click Add a non-Steam game to my library. From here, I'm going to go to the top, because this is all the software that's on my computer right now. I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to type in Epic, so you'll see the Epic Games Launcher. Select that and add that selection to your library, and then it'll be over here, and you can click Play. Now, the reason why this is really useful is because this allows Steam to launch Epic directly, and when you've got Epic open, you can use the Steam overlay at any time, which then allows you to have Steam's drivers function for Epic. So from here, I'm gonna launch Fortnite. And if your Steam controller is all hooked up nicely, once you start launching a game and everything, it should be lit up on the front. Otherwise, unless you've got it plugged in, it'll just be asleep on your desk. So if everything's working, you should be able to click around with your controller like I am doing. But note that the controls will still read like they are Xbox buttons. Because if it could display PlayStation buttons, that would mean that Fortnite already had PlayStation controller support and you wouldn't need to do all of this. So other than that, I mean, it looks like everything works fine. I can back out of here and yeah. The other thing you might need to do, depending on if you've gone through this process before or not, is to make sure that all of your PlayStation controller setups are done inside of Steam. To do this, all you gotta do is go up behind where it says loading on my screen. I don't know why it says that. Um, that's where it says Steam usually. You can click on that, and go to settings. And then in settings, the Steam settings here, in the Left-hand sidebar, you can see all these different little tabs. You want to scroll down to the bottom where it says controller. And here it should tell you your controller's name is up here at the top. And then you can do things like enable or disable game rumble, use Nintendo button layout, or um, use universal face glyphs. That would be if you wanted to act like the Steam controller. Uh, but you can go down here and make sure that PlayStation controller support is completely enabled. And then if for whatever reason you're having issues where it's behaving like a mouse and keyboard rather than a controller, you might need to go into your desktop layout down here, click edit, and play around with different layouts 
for the controller so it doesn't do that. You could also try disabling your Steam inputs and all that stuff, but mainly what you want to do is you want to just try to get it for the official layout. You can go through different templates from people that are around the world and see if any of these will fix your problem. Because it really shouldn't be acting like a mouse and keyboard in the game only when you're like out and about on the desktop, but currently mine doesn't do that. So I don't know why yours might. So that's where all these are. If you want to double check those settings. So anyway, that's been a brief look at how to add Epic Games Launcher to your Steam library so you can use Steam's drivers to allow you to play with a PlayStation 5 controller. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.